Chapter 6, PHP MyAdmin and WebMin installation. We continue with some remote administration tools, PHP MyAdmin for web-based administration of MySQL, and then with the WebMin, which is a web interface for configuring remotely the Linux server. So finally, we install the recommended tools PHP MyAdmin, which is a PHP application where you can administrate your MySQL database, you can manipulate the data set. For installation, you can use the apt-get command. And then we have apt-get install PHP MyAdmin. So this will take a while. In this window, we have to choose uh, which web server we want to use. We want to use the Apache. Okay. Okay, we want to install this database. Okay, here we need the, at the MySQL database administrative or the root user password. Okay, there is a password for the PHP MyAdmin confirmation. Okay, done. What we can do right now is test if PHP MyAdmin is working. So we open a Firefox browser window and enter localhost and use the PHP MyAdmin. Okay, username root. This is the MySQL database username. Then to there. So and enter the password. And right now we are in PHP My Admin. Here are the databases. Yeah, here we have Moodle already. Here you can see the Moodle tables. So far for PHP My Admin. You can leave PHP MyAdmin by logout and it is working. Let's try if it's accessible from outside, just for instance from the host machine. PHP MyAdmin. We have access. So we have access from the from the host machine as well. So PHP MyAdmin is installed. So what's missing? That looks like a fantastic tool. Um, what is missing? You were talking before about web admin or web min. Yeah, web min is a very useful tool, but this one, you, it's better to install it as a package. So you have to download the package before. You can't install it directly with apt-get. Apt no, you can't do that. Is Actually, you can do it, but uh, you won't get the latest version. So I try to find it. Because the Bayern is similar to Ubuntu. Exactly. So here we can get the debian package. Okay, save file. Okay. Let's open it. Just click on install. So it is installed. Now let's check. We have to open a web browser and use HTTPS localhost on the port 10,000. Here the browser gives me feedback about untrusted site, so I understand the risks and add the webmin as an exception. Yeah, confirm. It looks like it's working. I get to the login dialog. The username is Moodle. This is the Ubuntu user, the password. Login. Okay, here we get some feedback about the server. The, here you can see, administrate the servers which are running there, like the MySQL database server, Apache web server, some parameters, networking, others jobs and so on yeah this is webmin now let's try to access it from outside once more we have to install the port forwarding this will be the last time I promise so we shut down the virtual machine
Okay. And here, we have to go back. Settings. Network. Port forwarding. And add the last one with min. Listening on the port 10,000. Okay. Okay. Start the machine. Okay, the machine is up and running. Let's try it on the host machine to enter the webmin. Let's try HTTPS. Don't forget the S. And on the port 10,000. Here we have the same window. They, they ask me this is a non trusted connection, so I want to add as an exception. And here we are. Save this password, and here we can see the user interface of the webmin servers, webmin itself, system. So we are able right now to administrate the virtual machine without even entering the, the machine itself. We can do it via SSH, we can do it via webmin, we can do it via PHP MyAdmin, we can do it via VNC.